Welcome to Sprattronics Learning Lab and our next lesson in our elementary Lego robotics program. This week is one of my favorite weeks and it's called the big bus. What I love about this lesson this week is that we are going to be using a motor attached to our hub and we're going to be using a sensor to control this motor. I really like this build because I think it teaches some really cool engineering concepts and I really like that we can control a motor using our sensor. So this week, we're gonna be doing the big bus. But before we start, I've got a few questions for you. Think about a school bus or a city bus, and I want you to think, first, have you ever ridden one before? Some people ride the bus all the time, some people have really never ridden a bus. However, you oftentimes see a bus when you're in a city, and how does the bus know where to stop? what tells the bus where it should be stopping or where the bus driver should stop? There's a bus stop. There's usually a sign on the end of the street that says bus stop. Sometimes it'll give the route number, sometimes it'll give the times, but there's typically a sign that says bus stop. Now, what happens if there are people waiting at the bus stop? The bus typically drives up to the stop, comes to a complete stop, they open the doors and let people off, and then let the people on to the bus from that bus stop. Now, what happens if nobody's at the bus stop and nobody in the bus has requested a stop? If nobody's at a bus stop, typically the bus just drives on past. It might slow down to a stop just for a moment to let anybody off, and then it drives away. So, we're going to be doing the big bus lesson today and I've already built my bus. We're going to get started and then I'm going to have you pause this video so that you can build your bus and then we'll go over some of the cool engineering concepts that are in this vehicle and then we'll learn how to code it so that it can be controlled based on the different stops and what colors the bus sees. So we're going to open up our computer. We're going to go to spike.legoeducation Dot com. And when it loads, we click on Spike Essential. Today we're going to click on Unit Plans, and we'll scroll down a little bit to Happy Traveler. And we're going to jump all the way down to lesson number six. Now, these are some other great units to do on your own, but the one I want to focus on today is the big bus, and that's because it uses a motor and a sensor to control a vehicle. So, let's read our story. Today is going to be an awesome day. Daniel is going to see his favorite sports team at Spike Stadium. Daniel is going to take the bus to get there. We are building this bus for Daniel to ride to Spike Stadium. Now, Daniel needs an accommodation. What is it about Daniel that means we're going to have to think about how he can get on and off this bus? He's in a wheelchair. And so Daniel's going to require a little extra time at the bus stop, probably. So go ahead and build your bus. I have already built mine. And once you're done building, then we'll continue on and we'll talk about how this is great engineering. You should have built the bus by now. And let's talk about a few things that are on here. One of my favorite parts of this bus is that it sandwiches two of these long white plates together to make for a really strong base. So when we're building robots, having something sturdy and rigid is really important. So we can strengthen our builds when we put a Lego piece on the bottom and then another Lego piece across the top. That makes it extra sturdy. Another spot that makes this extra sturdy is when we put this blue brick across here. That just holds everything together tightly. It's sandwiched in between. This orange and yellow bricks, these are sandwiched in between two other bricks. The other thing I really like is how this motor is attached. We're going to use one motor to control our bus, which means it's going to be able to go forward and backwards 
It's going to be able to stop. It's going to be able to travel for distances. But this one is a great way to attach a motor if you want to use just one motor at a time. We do a thing called plank battles where we put a deck board down on the ground and we have to build robots to go back and forth on that deck board. And using one motor attached to the back like this is a way to be successful with that. The other thing we have on here is our color sensor. So our color sensor is on this side and that's gonna be what lets our bus see the different signs and we can program it to do different things depending on what sign it sees. So now that you've built your big bus, we need to create a program that makes the bus stop for Daniel when it gets to the green stop. So let's connect our hub. My method for connecting the hub is to press the button on our computer first. And then I click on step two that says open. Once my pop-up screen is up there, then I press the button on my hub one time and the light starts to flash. As soon as my hub appears in this pop-up box, I'll click on it and click the blue pair button. And I'll know I'm connected because my light down here will turn solid blue. Now the way I have my cord wrapped, there it is, it just turned solid blue. The way I have my cord wrapped, it's blocking that light but the seat keeps the cord out of the way. So we're gonna give you this first code. When the program starts, we're gonna start moving the motor counterclockwise. We're gonna use a block today called wait until. So we told the motor to start moving. If you press play right now, that motor is just gonna go forever until you click a stop button. So start motor is a great way to make something go in motion and stay in motion. But we want it to stop at a certain point. So we drag over wait until. And then we're going to use our sensor. So when color sensor B is green, we want something to happen. Now, if you were to push play right now, even when it sees green, it's still going to keep going because we have not told the motor what to do when it sees green. So we want to drag over stop motor A. Great. Now's a good time to test your program. So if you've got a character, you can set Daniel your character right at stop, the green stop. We'll set our bus and then we'll push play. And what we should see is that it should start driving and then it should stop whenever it gets to the green stop. Perfect. This worked just fine. Now I can press stop on my program. My bus has already stopped. This gives Daniel plenty of time to come and get onto the bus. Now he might not sit in one of the red seats, but he's got this space over here where his wheelchair can fit. Now, before we start adding some extra tasks, I want you to try to change your program to change the bus ride up a little bit. Maybe you want to play a sound whenever your bus starts driving and when it arrives to the green bus stop. Maybe you want to do something called a display, which will make a sign pop up. And if you've ever seen a bus, they oftentimes have a sign on the front that says which route they're on. So I think I might do that with my bus, is I might change the image that it projects. So my bus is going to be going to the beach. So I want my image to show for the beach for three seconds, and then I want it to start driving. I see my image popped up, my bus starts to drive, and then it comes to a stop at the green spot. All right, my next challenge for you is I want you to program this bus to make several stops. You're gonna build some more signs. You can use lots of different colors. Your color sensor can easily detect pink, dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, red, white, and black. You may wanna make a different sign for pink, for red, for yellow, for green, and for blue. And then let's program our bus to go down a certain route. 
And what I'd like for it to do is I want this bus to pause or wait at the green stop for five seconds to give Daniel a chance to get on. And then I want it to keep driving and come to a complete stop at the blue brick. How would you code that for your robot to drive and stop for five seconds at the green brick and then stop completely at the blue brick? What might you do? Go ahead and try that code. I'm gonna put a solution at the very end of this video, but make this bus go to several different stops and pick up passengers in different ways at each stop. You might want to make six different stops by designing different signs and then coding it in different ways. Now, if you have a younger brother or sister or if the word blocks are difficult for you, we have another way we can do this bus. We'll click on home, click on home again. We'll say new project, icon blocks, and create. Now we have access to all the blocks. So we don't have the ability to just start the motor turning clockwise. We'll have to change this number. And so I'll change it to, let's make it a large number. So whenever our play button is pressed, our bus is going to start driving. But I want it to stop for five seconds when it gets to a green stop. So I'll put a green color sensor block here. I'll tell the motor to stop. I want it to wait for five seconds. And then I want it to start driving again. And I'll put 50 again so that it drives for a long time. And then I want it to completely stop when it sees a blue brick. So I'll add another color sensor on here. This time I'll change it to blue. And I want it to stop And I'll add this stop all bricks as well. So let's test this out. I'm gonna scoot these over a little bit so that they have room to stop. Put my bus here. If I push play, it should start driving. Should pause for five seconds at green. And then it should start driving again. And when it sees blue, my program should be done. So here's a, one way to do it using icon blocks. How could you do that using word blocks? One solution is you could use several of these event blocks when color is green or when color is blue. Or you could use this wait until block if you know what order your program is going to run in. Wait until, and then we'll do a sensor. Color sensor is blue. We're using one motor this week, so we will be using blue motor blocks. If you tried using these pink motor blocks, nothing would happen because that's the hub is expecting there to be two motors if you're gonna use pink motor blocks. So I'm gonna change my code. I want to stop the motor if it sees green and then I want it to wait. That's under control. Wait five seconds. then start the motor moving again. And then when it runs into blue, I want it to come to a complete stop. And so just like we did with our icon blocks, this program should work with our word blocks now. So we press play, my picture pops up, we pause for five seconds at green, and then we're gonna drive until we see the blue block. Oh, I see an error. 
what should I change in my code to fix the direction of this bus? I know to drive forward, I need the motor to turn counterclockwise, and down here, I have it turning clockwise, so I'll just change that direction. We'll try it again. Our bus will drive forward till it sees green. I'm gonna scoot it back, and now it'll drive forward until it sees blue. Perfect. I'd love to see how many stops you can make your bus stop at. Can you make it play a different sound depending on which bus stop you're at to let the passengers know what stop is coming up or what stop they're currently at? How could you make this bus more helpful for its passengers? So today we talked about buses. We talked about the nice engineering that goes into this bus, how we pinched the bricks between two larger bricks in order to make a sturdy base, how we attach just a single motor onto the back so that we can use a sensor and a motor together to tell our robot how to move or when to stop or when to go. We used our wait until blocks to make something happen until it sees a different color. And the nice thing about that is you can spread these out really far and that bus will travel all the way in between them. We also saw how to switch back into icon blocks if we're running into a problem with word blocks and need to go back to something more basic. Thanks so much for joining me today for the big bus build. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.